Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. If you do, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video with a friend. I greatly appreciate it. Today we're gonna have a lot of fun, man. We're actually going John boat fishing and we're gonna be on the hunt for some really big bass today. It's been a second since I've gone out on a little John boat. We're actually at Fletcher's place today and uh, we're just gonna try to hunt for these giants, man. We're probably gonna do some cranking today. We got some blade baits with us that we're probably gonna try out. And uh, if we have to go shallow, maybe even like a chatter bait or a square bill, I think that'd be a good go around today. So we're gonna go ahead and back in the boat in the water, see what we can do, and uh, hopefully we can hook some big ones. Say I got a scale with me too, so you guys can't call me out on that. I got a scale with me prepared. So if we catch an eight pounder, we're gonna be ready for it. But let's go ahead and get this boat in the water. Also, before we bag this boat in, I mentioned it in the last video, but I actually have a fan meetup this Saturday, November 13th at Nine Line Apparel here in Savannah, Georgia. It's from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So if you guys wanna come meet me, shake my hand, talk some fishing, I'd really appreciate that. And I wanna meet some of you guys, so I really would like for some of y'all to show out. And it's been a while since we've done a fan meetup. So if you guys wanna come out, Nine Line Apparel, you can type it in on Google, that's the Addy and uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. this Saturday. So hope to see you guys there. Let's go ahead and get this boat in the water. All right, let's get her on in. All right, y'all, we just got in the water. We actually, we put the boat in and one of the pedals wasn't working. So we had to go all the way back, pick up the other boat, and uh, now we're back in the water. So we're about to get it started today. Brought out some dang chocolate chip muffins. Let me tell you, man, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Matter of fact, these are the best muffins. It's from Publix and do they smack. Pillsbury, they didn't want to sponsor your boy. So I told him, I was like, man, I'm gonna have to go muffin tasting. These right here, man. What do you think, Cody? They smack. I think they're better. They smack the Pillsbury ones out of the park. So if you guys are looking for some good chocolate chip donuts, I'm telling you, these are the th donuts. Chocolate chip muffins, these are the muffins. But we're going to go ahead and get started today um, and tie on a few baits, see what we're going to be throwing, and uh, just go out here and try to catch some fish. There's a ditch out here that there could be a lot of fish stacked up in. I'm praying that they are. And uh, if the fish are stacked in this ditch, we're probably going to have a really good day. So... Let's go ahead and get it started and uh, see if we can catch a few fish. We're gonna retie the spinning combo. And by the way, if you guys wanna check out any of the kicking combos, they're on your boy's website, kickingtheirbass.com. Link will be down below. Um, we still got some bait casters and spinning rods in stock. Right-handed combos are about, about, we're about sold out of them, but as far as left hand and spinning go, we're prime. And we still got some right hand in stock, so you should be able to go get them down below. I'm actually gonna put on this blade bait on the spinning combo. It's been a minute since I've thrown a blade bait. Uh, this is usually like one of my winter baits I like to throw, um, but I just don't know how these fish are acting right now. We didn't really have like a fall. You know, it's got really cold and now it feels good this week. So I, I don't know if these fish are gonna be roaming shallow, if they're gonna be out deep in these ditches, if they're gonna be on points. You know, so we're gonna try a lot of different stuff, but I'm gonna tie that blade bait on and then I'm gonna get me on one of these crankbaits right here. This is a 5XD by Strike King. If you guys wanna get a discount on any of the baits or any of the other loose combos I use, I have my codes and links down below. The other colors I have in there are like more of dirty water colors. We're fishing some pretty clean water today. So I go with that natural. Um, I don't know what color that is. It might be Tennessee Shad. I'm not sure, but that, that color, uh, even in the lipless, I was catching some, some tanks on. But the only problem with this is I actually put heavy line on this bait caster. I wish I had lighter line for these crank baits. I can get it down a little deeper because I have 20 pound fluoro on this crank and I usually want to throw a 10 to 12 pound, but it'd be all right. I'd get the job done for today. I'm just kind of casting, fan casting right now. Oh, look at that Gatorson. See him right there? Some bait pop. I don't know if they're up there. 
Was that to the left or what you captain? I don't know. It looks like a turtle or something. Dude, they just pop bait right out there in the middle. That's exactly what I want to see. That's the bite I want to get on. Should be one right there. Oh, there's a lot of bait there, man. A lot of bait. Yeah, it's got hammered. What do I have? That's not a bass. That's I have a bass. <laughs> what the? Okay. Dude. I believe this is intentional, man. I've never caught a bass this small in my life. What a freaking tank. We might, like, we need a photo with this guy. Like, this is, scale, right? bro, this is impressive. That's what I'm saying. I need the scale on this boy. Bro, what? Like, have you ever seen a bass that small? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Bro, that's impressive. What a lunker to start the day. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh my gosh, I, did, I just killed him. Get over here, let's catch another one. Let's catch another one. Is there another? Dude, I don't even know the size of it. That was probably like a three inch bass, maybe a four inch bass. Oh, why does it keep messing up? Oh my God, I got another one. Why are they so small? He's bigger, he's bigger, but he's very small. Like very twinky. That's a Twinkie bass. Dude, that is a future 10 pounder. Yeah. He's part of the double digit. He's gonna be part of the double digit club here shortly. Well boys, we are on a two fish streak right here. Not really what we want to catch, but I swear if I catch another one right here, there's a school of them. I'm not gonna do this anymore. But. <laughs> that is officially the smallest fish I've seen in a minute. See if there's a big girl right here. There's usually a fish in this corner. It's a good little spot. Yeah, I see one underneath. Dude, holy smokes. Oh my gosh. Dude, all right. So I was telling Cody, I was like, the transducer's not in. So he moved to put the transducer in the water. I said, dude, look at that. There's a fish underneath me. I dropped down and catch this huge sunfish. That is insane right there. That's the cool thing about a blade bait, man. You catch just about anything. We might as well be filming a multi-species right now, but that is a chunk of a bluegill, man. What a pretty fish. I haven't caught a big bluegill like that in a minute. Nice. He was fighting hard, man. A lot of fish down there. They usually stack up like on this edge of this creek right there. What's this guy talking about? There he is, loaded up on that sucker. Running to the side. He's tiny. Okay. Well, we got on some fish very quick, but just not the fish that we're really looking for. Um, it is nice to catch them on a blade bait out deep. I don't think it's that time of year yet. So that, that could be why these fish are a lot smaller. But we're gonna keep on hunting. You know, you could find, we could find a stack of fish that are five, six pounders that are just hundled down in that ditch. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep on trying, but I think we already caught like four or five fish. He's right in that ditch. I'm just throwing this blade bait. I'll throw it out there. Now count this thing down, you know, let it hit all the way on the bottom. And then all I'm doing is kind of ripping it just like that kind of hopping it right off the bottom and you'll feel them slap it if they don't slap it they'll just kind of load up on it just kind of giving them the steady hops like that really working that bottom good and those fish if they're sucked down in that ditch they'll slam this thing another great bait to fish here which i i meant to bring this morning is an underspin underspin's a killer bait to fish in ditches i've had some of my best days on the water with an underspin um i've caught you know 100 fish days on an underspin multiple times so that's another bait if i had had it with me today i think we can get on some good ones
See all the bait flicker out there. Yep. That's a better one. That one's got some weight on him. I don't think he's a big one, but he's a better one. Or it's a freaking bluegill. I got hooked in the stomach. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy cow. I mean, dude. Dude, those are some brute bluegill, man. I, I feel so bad for that, dude. You won't even believe where I had him hooked. Right in his bunghole, bro. Like, <laughs> dead. dead in his bunghole. Holyo. Freaking brute bluegill. It's fun to catch. I don't know what he ate. You can see it coming out of him. <laughs> Slabs. Oh. You see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just dying and I just got slammed. Come on, fish, eat it. Uh oh. Hey. Yeah. Feels like a way better fish. Oh, yeah, that's a little bass. Bigger than anything we caught today, so. Just, just trolling this sucker. I'm moving to another spot. I was like, I'm gonna throw that blade bait down there because they should eat it. Sure enough, we get us a little old bass on it. We've had a good little start to today, guys. We haven't ha had any big ones. You know, we're gonna be searching for them the rest of the day. Just gotta find that one spot that has some big fish loaded up on it, but that's a pretty little bass. Just caught him trolling. Maybe that's a thing today. You know, we got this big channel swing and there's a bunch of fish that sit on that drop off. I bet if we did nothing today but troll crankbaits or blade baits, you could catch them really good. So I kind of got it consistent. Look at that, dude. God, that's crazy. That's a small one. They're so small, I don't understand that. That's why I'm trying to move spots because these fish are just not what we want to catch today. They sure dang eating it. God, dog. Any bass is fun to catch, any bite. There's a ditch right here to the left, and this is a flat. I got one. It's fighting so weird. Is that a fish? Yeah, I might have a butthole catch. Oh, it's a fish. Get your booty up in here, boy. Dude, that's a fat guy. There we go. That's our last little troll fish for right now. We might go back to that. I just want to catch some bigger ones. There's a flat right here on this point. You got a ditch that's in the middle of the pocket. But this flat has a loon on it, and he's over here eating bait. So we might get lucky. These bigger ones might be roaming up shallow today with these cloudy conditions. Oh, that's a big one. That's a freaking tank. That's a mega right here, boy. I might have him hooked weird the way he's fighting. If not, he's a freaking giant. Oh, he's not a bad one, dude. Not a bad one. He ain't a giant, but he's a freaking good fish. I think it's like a three pounder. That's what we've been waiting on. Looks like a high two, maybe. That might be a, that's a three pounder. Let's get him in the boat though. He's barely hooked. Yes. That ain't quite three, but he's a high two pounder right there. Boom, baby. Get us started with something good. When he grabbed onto it, I knew. I'm gonna tell you, if we get a five plus pounder, this thing's gonna feel like he's about 15 pounds. That's a good fish, man. If he was a little more filled out, he'd be a three pounder, but he's a high two pounder right there. Now we're getting somewhere. That's what we want. You picked up on that thing good. Thank you, baby. There he goes. Give me some on that, Cody. There you go. Step in the right direction. Oh my God. What is going on, dude? Look at, look at that. They're having a feeding frenzy. Watch this. I'm, I'm catching one 100%. Look at this. Oh my God. I've never seen anything like that in my life, dude. I just got hit, or I hit something. I'm a. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, he came off, came off. There's another one. Oh my God. What are we about to get into, dude? What are we about to get into? That's a good one too. Better than what we've been catching. It's two pound, oh, uh, not even. All right, we're about to get on a crazy bite, dude. There's no talking here. We just need to catch as many as we can. I had that fish come off and there was another one with it. There's a whole school of fish right here going crazy on bait. <clears throat> oh, that's a tank. That's a tank. I don't know if I have him hooked weird. He's not fighting anymore. Yeah, yeah. He's not. Yeah. He's not big enough. I mean, it's not a bad one. Second best. Bigger than that last one. Yeah, dude. We're, we're about to get on a crazy bite, guys. Catching fish every cast right here. You ready? I feel it. Catching bass every cast is about to happen. That's a good fish, man. Not a bad one. Not a giant, but great healthy bass. Watch this. You ready? Oh, he's behind me right here. He's going to eat it. You ready? It's crazy. All right, fish. All right. Come off, come off, come off. You ready for something crazy? Yeah. Watch this. You ready? Oh my God. They're looking at me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my God, he broke me. That was a, f oh my God, I don't have another one of them baits, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude, oh my God. That was a freaking monster, bro. It could have been like a dang five pounder for all I know. But we got, we got these micro traps. I got like six of them in my box, so we should be good. I think we'll eat it. Could they sink pretty good if you just drop them? Ah, uh, they're, they're not gonna sink like that glide bit or that blade bait, but it should do the trick. I got a whole school behind me. <laughs> all right, it's all good, man. They're gonna bite it. I feel good about it. They might buy this even better, honestly. A little more finesse. God, dog, I was going on him. There he is. Oh yeah. Putting up a good little fight. I still got some under me too. I'm gonna try to release this fish and drop under me. We found the mother load right here, boys. That's what we've been looking for. And there's big ones with them because they were eating that bait. I saw them. Not only that, but I hooked that big one a second ago. That was not a small fish. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Biggest fish today. You see how they fired up? Do you see that? Look at that, look at that. Gosh, they're fired up right now. He choked this thing. Oh my gosh, did he choke this? Look at that. That's exactly how you want one to eat it. That's how you know you're in the right spot. It's a nice fish. High two pounder. I haven't been able to catch one bigger than that. I know I had one on earlier when I broke that off. That just sucks. The trick is to get that fish in, get them off the hook, and throw back in there really quick. That is not the one I want. There he is. That pop flutter. I think that's what we needed to do. You kind of just lift it up, let that bait flutter down, and they're eating it on the fall. Oh, that's a decent one. You could feel it on your slack line when they hit it. And this kicking combo is getting put to work. I'll tell you, look how he ate that sucker. See? Ate it right on the fall. He just choked that thing. That's how you want it. Look at that. Oh, little Strike King Red Eye Shad, a micro. 
the micro trap. I've never thrown one of these. And I, I didn't, I ordered them by accident. I thought they were the regular size and I got them in and I was like, well, I'm sure I'll use them one day. And today happens to be that day. He's bleeding a little bit. I'm just gonna get him back in the water, but pretty bass. Not a two pounder. There he goes. He hit me. Oh, not a bad one. Did me a little dance, a little dance, dance. That's such a fun bite. Such a fun bite. This one's got some stuff on them. Look at that. I don't know what that is. Well, y'all, that is a pretty fish right there. And I'm going to have to say this is going to end off today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. We got on a lot of good fish on a blade bait and a strike king red eye shad. And man, it was a lot of fun today. I'm glad we could get on some big schools. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, guys. Share this video with a friend. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.